creating more crime, decreasing property values, and they flat out just don't look good. Mm. That's how some people in Lufkin are describing rundown properties in their area. Doesn't sound good. Kate Case Frank Jefferson live in studio to tell us what people are saying about these abandoned houses. Frank. Neil Casey, there are seven properties in Lufkin and the city council, they recently voted to demolish those properties. But today I spoke with a young man who lives right next door to one of the dilapidated structures. This is North Regay Street. At first glance, you can't see anything wrong. But when you take a closer look, you see a problem that several people in Lufkin are dealing with. I spoke with a man who lives right next to the structure. He didn't want to be on camera, but says this burned down house used to be a home. We've been here for about 15 years now. We've known them our whole lives and just to see their house get burned down like that and them have nowhere to go is just kind of insane, honestly. A tragedy like this isn't uncommon. Just three minutes down the road on Con Avenue, another fire took place. Unfortunately, this burned down home can lead to bigger issues than just being an eyesore. These structures, they can, they can stay up for months, sometimes years before something uh, gets done to them and they're not secured. Kids go play in them, um, squatters, homeless people can get in them and um, like they're dangerous. Once people from the community share their concerns to the city, the council takes action. And that brings it initially to our attention and then our code inspectors can go out and assess the situation to see if it truly is a safety hazard for the community. The city council recently held a meeting where they decided to demolish seven homes similar to this one for around $4,000 each. But until the city makes this move, the houses just sit there, forcing neighbors to field questions. People drive by here and they're like, that they know I live here, so they'll ask, hey, like, what happened to the house next door? The man who I spoke with wants to see his neighborhood get back to normal. At this point, I mean, there's really not much that I can see being done other than them tearing the house out and maybe building a new one there. Hoping city leaders will help beautify the community again as soon as possible. And all of those properties, they're set to get demolished within 45 days unless the owners make an appeal to the city council. In studio, Frank Jefferson, KETK News.